So here's our crowd. Looks like a couple guys want to learn how to set their shield to a bailless conversion. I don't know why you guys want to know, but uh, they're real nosy. And it's a really simple install, actually. Um, you're going to start by taking off the spool. We'll set that over. And you're going to remove the bail. So you're going to need a pick tool. You have two clips on both sides. And just go uh, ahead and remove those. There's one, and the second. There's a second one. And then the next step is you're going to have to take out these two tabs. And you kind of just got to, I'll use a flat for this one. Just press, press them in, and they should pop right out. Then you'll drop a washer on both sides. Both sides have a washer. So here's the other side. And there's the washer, and that should just pop off now. Now, on this side, you also have another uh, well these rivets you're gonna save these for another time I think the clips you also have to save you just set that over here in the kit you do get instructions and they send it here so pretty straightforward it says uh, you remove the spool you remove the clips from the bail arms and you store the, the bail arms with the bail rivets for the future um, also the clips I don't see any mention of that you'll be using clips so in the kit you get that right here and the balance for the other side it looks like it goes uh, screwed on so let's do the side, the right side of the reel first. There's two screws, so you take the screws off. Well, one screw on one side, on each side. Now, they give you like a new rivet. And All right, so I made a mistake on installing the right sided reel uh, the screw actually goes in from the outside so you put the rivet onto the washer you put it on the reel and then you put the counterbalance on the other side and the screw screws in from that side I'm putting the counterbalance on right now you grab the screw put it in there and from there you tighten. That's the correct way. I did it the opposite where I put the screw in from the side of the gear and that, that, that'll create some complications so don't make that mistake. Nice and snug, perfect fit. And for the other side, same thing. Separate the screw. Separate the screw and you put it so I have a bad angle on here. You 
gonna take the rivet, put it through the washer, and then put it on the inside. I got it in reverse actually. There we go. And then on the other side goes this. This has a nipple as well. And you should see right on there. And you take a screw. Put it on here and just tighten. Make sure it's seated well properly. And that's pretty much it. That's how you turn your uh, real bailless. So you just operate it by taking it off the, the roller over here. And I actually made a mistake. That's it. Nice and snug. It's tight. You take your clips here. I'll just put them back in the in the box this came from. Along with the with the two rivets. I'll throw those in there for safekeeping and put it back in the box. For safe storage. Just in case uh, you decide you don't like bailless. Or, you know, you just miss your bail. There you go. Drop that in there. Drop the bail in there. And we put it away for safekeeping. Now, after that, you just put your spool, spool back on. And make sure you tighten that up. And this reel is set for spring, ready to go. All lubed up, all greased up, cleaned up. The only thing we gotta do is add some line on it and we'll be good to go. Thanks for watching. How'd you guys like the video? Huh? They don't, they don't look too impressed. But yeah, quick video.